Hi everyone, super excited to show you five easy steps in order for you to interface with the new ChatGPT4 model, which has been released with Python. Super easy APIs, super easy tutorial to walk through here. Let's get started. The first thing that you're gonna need to do is go to OpenAI and create an account. And once you're there, you're gonna need to get your new API key. Come here to personal, click on view API keys, create new keys if you don't already have one. It's super simple. You're gonna then copy it and pull it out into your, um, in, into your workspace. Step number two is we need to install the packages. So first you're gonna do a pip3 install OpenAI. I've already done it so it's super fast. Next you're gonna install uh, a package called YAML. YAML is super helpful, I'll show you why we're gonna need it in our project. Now we're gonna come to Visual Studio and we're gonna create our first file, config.yaml. What we're gonna put in config.yaml is actually the token key. That's the token API key that you just received. So paste it in there, it's gonna be a big long nasty key. I can't show you my key, but you'll have your own. Next we're gonna create our file, gpt4.py. This is where our main program is going to be. First step that we need to do is actually import the two libraries that we're going to use. One is the OpenAI library. Next is the YAML library. Next, we're going to get some code here that's going to enable us to bring in that token key. The reason I don't like to have it inside the file like this is that you could accidentally check in your file. So I never like to put a token inside of your main file. That's why it's going to be sitting in the config.yaml file. What each line here does, we're going to open up the file and then we're going to use the yaml.load function to actually load in your token as a dictionary. And then we can just dereference that dictionary, config underscore yaml token, and then your open a your openai.api key is going to be that. Now we're here and we're going to use the chat completion.create function. This is going to be our main entry into how we're going to talk to the chat GPT-4. We first need to set the model, GPT-4, that is the model we're going to use. Here are many other models that are available on the website that you can come read about, all the different models that you can use. They are more expensive than the other chat GP3 models. So next we're going to bring in the roles. There's three different roles, system, user, and assistant. We're going to talk more about what each of those means. We need to create a, an array of messages. And what that is going to do, we're going to push those messages to ChatGPT4. What messages are, it's an array of objects. Those objects have a role of system, user, or assistant, or they also have content, and they also have content. Now let's talk about each of these. You've got a system. What system does is it sets the behavior of the assistant, it tells it what, what you are, what, what they are. User provides a request or comments for the assistant to respond to. And the assistant, what that does is it stores previous assistant responses. Let's go ahead and copy in this example here. We've got system, hey, you're a fourth grade teacher. We've got a user, please explain the theory of relativity to your young students in three sentences. Pretty complex question. Let's make this a little bigger. Now we're gonna pump that message uh, array calling the API. That's our third step setting the parameters. Finally, our last step here is we're going to actually call the API and we're gonna print the function. We're gonna print the response. Our last step here is all we have to do is now execute, print the answer, and then we're gonna print, uh, print it, the whole answer uh, from the JSON and then we're gonna print just the content. And here is our answer. So what it tells us is 
which API was called, when it was created, that's the timestamp, the model that was used, and then inside this JSON, it gets a little more deeper. So you got the index, uh, the message. If there was multiple messages, they would be there. Here is the answer that came back from uh, the API. And then here is a, a prettier answer. So the theory of relativity is a big idea by a man named Albert Einstein that talks about how time, space, and gravity work together. Pretty cool, pretty simple to use ChatGPT4 with Python. Hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel. Super excited for your support. Thank you.